Look at that. They're hitting right here on top. Look at that. Look at that. They're hitting right there on top. Watch this. There he is. Oh, he cut me. He cut me. Oh, I'm on again. I'm on again. I'm on again. Yep. I'm on again. Get him in here. Get him in here. right there really helped me out this poncho is like a four-in-one type deal where it's not only a rain poncho it's a uh, you can use it for a picnic blanket uh, something to wrap yourself up while you're camping um, it could be a tarp to lean to you know what I mean it's so, it's so many deals in one that uh, it's pretty awesome so it just protected me from the wind that we uh, we were going through. We had a cold snap last night, so that poncho really helped me uh, stay warm while we were on the way out here. So we're cruising up and down uh, Orange Beach right now, headed into Gulf Shores towards the Gulf State Pier. Um, not sure if you guys can see it in the distance, but uh, my man's Cliff, in here, Cliff right here, Cliff and I are making our way towards the end of the pier right here, the Gulf State Pier. It's the section that you can't get to from the pier because Hurricane Sally split that pier in half and there's a, a structure out there that still hasn't been repaired yet. They're working on getting the contracts and everything for it so we can get back all the way to the end and start catching those other species like king mackerel, um, those cobia and other things like that. So uh, they're in deeper water, right? So we're just trolling right now. We got a couple lines out. Got a couple lines out with just some Yozuris. They're not very deep divers, but they're shallow divers. And we're cruising up and down the uh, sandbar here. We're in about 15 to 20 foot, hoping that we can maybe get on a king mackerel or something. And uh, yeah, we're just out here living the dream. Ow! God is good. Let's get to fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something small. What is he? Something very small. Might be a Spanish. He's not even fighting. He could be foul hooked. And it is a Spanish. Look at there. First fish of the day. It's a little Spanish mackerel. He didn't even pull any drag. I just kind of heard it. I heard the drag just a little bit. And he's legal. So he's a sandwich. He got that hook perfect. We could put him in here if you want. Yeah, let me get him unhooked. He bit that hook perfect. There we go. You got a uh, fillet knife yeah. close? Yeah, right here. yeah, yeah. Let me see that. I'm going to dispatch this guy and bleed him out. Well, let's first show him to the people. There we go, guys. A nice little schooly Spanish mackerel. Now, you can keep quite a few of these and make you some sandwiches. We're going to dispatch this guy and put him on ice. Just slit their throat right there. And he's going to start bleeding. You got your cooler open? Yeah. 
So as we caught that fish, we got closer to this structure here. And of course the fish are hanging out right here. And uh, we're just gonna drift. He doesn't have an eye pilot or nothing, but that's fine. We can get the job done, I guarantee it. So the reason I wanted to come here is because people cannot fish this portion of the pier. It's like an artificial reef at this point. So that's how we're gonna treat it. There's bait fish and things blowing up around us. We're gonna put some lines in the water and we're gonna see what we can't get. So there's gonna be king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, all kind of stuff. And I'm gonna just go ahead and make a few casts. Just gonna make some, some blind cast, do a fan pattern. See if we can't pull something up. I'm seeing some bait fish jumping. Let's take our antique pin right here. Man, that thing is beautiful. And we're gonna make some casts with it. I got it put on my uh, pin carnage rod and that's a jigging rod, but I have this ES lures uh, little diamond jig. Let's give him a cast out. Oh, that cast pretty good. Yes. It's my first time using this setup. I took this reel off of another rod that it came on that I got with the uh, combo at that garage sale. And uh, this reel is so smooth. It's like butter. I mean, it's smooth. Lots of bait up top right there. I got some gotcha lures if you want to throw a gotcha and catch you some Spanish. Yeah, yeah, let's do another pass. I don't know about this lure. It's starting to tangle a lot. What, something came after it? Nice. That's what you want. He cut it. Yeah, okay, I might need to put on one of those. Yeah, those Spanish mackerel got those teeth, man. They'll take your stuff. You gotta put on at least 50 or 60. Yeah, this is 30. Yeah, 50 or 60. Well, Cliff just learned the, the, the hard way about Spanish mackerel. Gotta have at least, oh, and we're on. We are on, that's a good fish. Oh, baby, that is a good fish. <laughs> yeah, that's a good fish. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him in on the old school pen. <laughs> oh man, this reel is so smooth and it fits up good on this pen carnage rod. Let's see what we got here. I'm winching him in slowly. He nailed that diamond jig. Oh, I foul hooked the Spanish. Okay. Well, it's another Spanish in the box. Sometimes they swipe at it and they don't get it, but there's one. We'll leave him down in the deck and we'll make another cast while they're hot. Get them while they're hot. He's a little bit smaller, but they only have to be 12 inches. feel like I just got thumped again. Or am I tangled? Got this tide line right here. Sometimes there could be a lot of fish hanging out in that tide line. I might change this guy because he's starting to tangle up as well. Starting to foul up. Got him, got him in Spanish. Flip him in here. He's a smaller guy, but he's, he's good. Yeah, there you go, drop him in. There you go. Good job, brother. Hit me, hit me, hit me. I gave him that uh, gotcha plug. And on his first cast, guys, it wasn't even a far cast, but he got him a, a Spanish. There you go. Settle down. There you go. Good job, brother. We're just having a day out here. Let's let's uh, keep the keep the good times going. Get the let the good times roll. <laughs> Try the old ghost minnow on this old Mitchell, old Mitchell. 
and I got it paired up with my old pier rod. My 706 used to be on that rod. There you go. Concerned about the drag on this guy. It's not the best. So the drag is not up to standard. But man, do I like the reel. Look at how big and bulky it is. Just screams old school. Looks like something they use in the military or something. Know what I mean? Big hunk of metal. Yeah. Loud and just mechanical. It's mechanical. I love it. There we go. That's a better cast. A little bit. You can let that guy sink to the bottom and then work him up. Yeah, give it a cast. Let him sink, sink, sink to the bottom. And then jig him fast as you're coming up with him. Lots of them. Look at them. Lots of them. Dude. Where's that gotcha? They're looking at this, but they won't eat it. I don't know how you're not getting clobbered. Do y'all have lines out? Y'all don't? Okay. All right, this should be good right here. There he is. There he is. See if I can get him in without him cutting me. There we go, got another one on the spec jig this time. So, got us another one this time on the spec jigs. So you guys probably see these in the bait and tackle shops all the time. These are little spec jigs. And those Spanish, they want something that's bite sized. Look at that, they're hitting right here on top. Look at that, look at that, they're hitting right there on top, watch this. There he is. Oh, he cut me. He cut me. Oh, I'm on again. I'm on again. I'm on again. Yep. I'm on again. Get him in here. Get him in here. Yep. Oh, man. We're about to load the boat with these guys. Little spoolie Spanish mackerel. They'll eat. They will fry up delicious. go they're holding right here on this west side corner of the uh, structure here and all you got to do is cast this guy out my hands are all slimy we got two of them in the deck right now try and get them while they're hot while we're doing this drift what was that We got stuff all around the boat, busting, busting. This reel is working great, I gotta tell you. Oh, I just got hit. There he is, he came and got it, he came and got it, he came and got it. Yes, they're right under us, they're right under us. That's a, that's a little bit better one, a little bit. Put these guys in the box. I knew they would want those spec jigs. We're messing Cliff's boat up. Look at all the blood. That's what you want though. Right? He's like, no. <laughs> Just drop it straight down and you gotta work it fast, man. You gotta jig it up and down real fast you know what i mean i'm talking about hey 
choo, 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 choo. Okay? Okay. See how I'm doing it? Watch this. Like that. They gotta feel like they can't they can't catch it, but then they come up and they catch it. Look at him, he's right there. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. I'm gonna drop it back down to him. Oh my, is that a king? Something huge. Could have been two Spanish side by side, but it looked huge. Let's see if we can get one on Chris set up. Is that somebody left this in the house that they bought? Yeah, kind of a surf fishing setup. Yeah. Almost. I like longer rods though. It allows you to cast far. I know those Spanish are hanging out on this corner over here. See that bait popping right there? Oh, something just cut you off. He hit it, he cut it off. Oh, damn. Yeah, you had mono on there. He cut it up top too. Look at that. Huh. Way so way up high. Look at that. Yeah. Sometimes they'll go for the knot for some reason. Huh. Yep. I had a guy. Yeah. I had a guy just yesterday or the day before. He was fishing next to me on the pier. He got cut off and he was like, "What happened? They left my swivel on there." And I said, "Sometimes they go for the knot." And they do. Let's see if I can get them with these spec jigs. These spec jigs are just bite size, so they kind of like them. And these Spanish, they're kind of bite size, so you got a bait that's not too big for them, and it's perfect size, it's not too small for them. There they are right there. He just showed his face. He just told on himself. Oh, he swiped at it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, they're swiping at it. Look at them swipe. They're all under it. They're swipers. And I'm tangled. Now he's gonna go straight past us. It's a nice vessel right there, ain't it? Man. A better one too. Heck yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. He came and got it on the old Mitchell. Huh? That's right on this side. Yeah. Yeah, work it kind of quick. Yeah, that's a bigger one. He's a little bit bigger. It's been a while since we had a bite, guys, but they are still out here. Look at him throw around those hooks. He wants to hook somebody. second I'll get you hooked there on the old Mitchell that felt good let's get him in the box look at that beautiful Spanish mackerel love the colors on these guys and they're feisty let's get him in there with his brothers and sisters they're tasty too. He hit that uh he hit that ghost shiner, that X wrap. He thumped it and it felt like he missed it. And then I kept reeling and he came back and he was just you can hear him pet 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 pet. You can feel him. You wanna go back towards the jetty? Alright. I watched Bama Saltwater get hooked up on some big bull reds. He was dragging a big curly tail jig. It's on nine o'clock.
guys how quick things can change out here. Um, it was slick calm this morning when we got out here and now it's picking up to about two degrees and the wind has really picked up. So that's probably the causing factor of the big swells. So you guys just keep in mind, it can, it can pick up on you real quick. We got some big rollers right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the bed fisher experience. So these are the polarized glasses by Waterland and it allows you to see straight through the water. You're seeing this through the brand new series of Waterlands, it's called the bed fishers. And these guys are awesome with a nice wraparound lens. Check that out. Professional style fishing optics. Allows you to see through the water. Cuts off the glare. And allows for you to see fish through the water. You can use them for many different applications or activities like driving around. Cuts down glare off windshields and headlight glare as well as uh, cutting the grass is what I've been using them for lately. That's awesome.